Hi everyone, welcome to Eve Math Tutoring. Today's lesson is on manipulating functions. So you might be given the equation, say for example, y equals 2x minus 3, and asked to rewrite this equation or solve for x equals f of y. So basically that's asking you to solve this equation for x. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring this over to the other side. When you do, it becomes a positive. And then what I want to do is solve for x, so I want to eliminate that too. So I'm going to divide this side by 2, but whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do the same to the other. So then I get x equals y plus 3 over 2, and then I've got the equation written in this form, a function in terms of y. x is equal to a function in terms of y, okay? So that's one type of equation. You can also be asked the same question, but this time you might be given the question in this form. So you might be given x equals equation in terms of x, so x equals 3 over 2y minus 7, and then asked to rewrite or solve the equation for y equals f of x. So this time you want to solve for y, so you want to have the equation in terms of y as a function of x. So what you're going to do then is you're going to solve this equation for y. So what you want to do first is to solve for y is bring this up. So to do that, you're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2y minus 7. And when you do that, the one on this side will cancel. So you'll just be left with 3. And you'll end up with it on this left um, side. Then what you're going to do is multiply the x in. So at that point, you get 2yx minus 7x equals 3. And now we're trying to solve for y. So now we're just going to move everything away from y. So 2yx is equal to 3 plus 7x. That goes over here. And then to solve for y, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 2x. So then y is equal to 3 plus 7x over 2x. And then some people would take that even further and write it as 3 over 2x plus 7 over 2, or 7x over 2x. And then we can cancel out the x's and get 7 over 2. So you could go this far, or you could leave the answer like that. That would be fine, too. And of course, if you left it in this way or this way, you would want to mention that x does not equal 0, because if it did, the fraction wouldn't exist, okay? So now we just rewrote this equation in terms of y equals f of x. Okay, so that's another type of example. Or you could be asked to write the equation in the following form. So you could get an example where you've got y equals 3x squared minus 2x and asked to write this equation in the form f of y, x, y equals 0. So rewrite as f of x, y equals 0. So in that case, I'm just going to bring the y over to the other side equals to 0. So that would be your your answer there. So that's just a, a, fu a function in terms of x and y equaling to 0. Okay? So that's how we would solve that one. Okay, so that's how you would manipulate functions.